Hey guys, welcome to another video. So today we have another mock driving test in which I will be testing um, this Luna driver's uh, driving and see if she's uh, ready for an actual driving test or not yet. And um, any of you that are learning to drive and you haven't yet downloaded the ultimate driving course, please do so or else it's gonna, it's gonna help you massively with your driving lessons, yeah. And um, yeah, any of you that do wanna take part in one of these uh, mock driving tests, they're absolutely free. All you have to do is drop us a message um, on Instagram at DJN Drive and we select people them um, randomly yeah so um yeah uh Jamelia Jamelia isn't it yeah Jamila Jamila sorry sorry I answer that <laughs> <laughs> I'm wrong yeah so Jamila could you tell us a bit about your driving please so I've been driving for over 30 hours I want to say I've been driving since last year um on and off but it's been consistent since September okay and I'm pretty confident pretty confident yeah, yeah. okay uh is there anything you're driving that you haven't covered um, I've covered pretty much everything, just um, haven't been doing the front bay parking as of recent. Okay, so not the front bay parking, but apart from that you covered everything else, yeah? yeah. Okay, cool. And um, Jamila, when I picked her up from um, the tram station, yeah, she was telling me that she's got her own side business as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? You want to promote it? Because I'm always up for you guys promoting anything you want. So I have a hair business, Jam Does Hair, where I style your hair, weaves, sew-ins, frontals, your closures, I'll make wigs. If you need it, come to me, Jam Does Hair in Birmingham. Cool. And obviously the link uh, the link for it, um, you'll see on screen now and um, it will be in the description below, yeah. Right then, so you've been watching the videos, um, you know how it works, yeah? Yeah. Okay, if you do make any driving faults, I won't talk about them until the end of the test, yeah? yeah. For those of you who are watching, any serious faults will be in red text, any normal driving faults in amber text. How many serious faults are you allowed on your test? None. Good. Okay, so um, the show me, tell me questions, have you been through those? Um, not by my instructor, but by myself, yes. Okay, should we go through them? Well, shall I ask you one? Yeah, you can ask me one. Okay, right. so could you tell me how you know if your head restraint is adjusted correctly? So, with the head restraint, um, oof. I think parts of your head, so say the back of your head, needs to be in level with, you know what? Nah, you can, you can, you can correct me because I don't want to waffle. Go on. Yeah, you kind of, so, you know, the, the rigid part, that's the center part of the head yeah. restraint, should be level with your eyes. Yeah, or yeah. the top of your needs to be slightly lower. You got protection there with the hair. Yeah, with anyway, the bun, you know, it's all right. <laughs> Perks of the hair business. <laughs> right then, so uh, whenever you're ready, if you could move off, we're going to start off by following the sat nav. Yeah, and um, then in between, I will switch off uh, the sat nav and give you directions. Okay. So whenever you're ready, if you could move off, please. <clears throat> Make sure your seatbelt's on, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, you need to. When turning left, Jamila positions slightly wide from the curb. She carries out good observations before emerging out. I'm pretty sure everyone's done this at some point when changing gears. The speed limit is 30 miles per hour. She's driving a bit fast, but it's only for a few seconds, so I've not marked it as a serious fault. You can see her speed on the bottom of the sat-nav. When Jamila enters this roundabout, there is a vehicle approaching from the right. That vehicle isn't too close, but if that driver decided to speed up, then this would have been a problem. I wouldn't advise taking the risk, but if you are going to take a gap like this, then make sure you're not too slow when accelerating. Exit, then take the third left. Now Jamila is about to make two serious driving faults, and one of them did hit my car. Whilst looking at the roundabout, she gets way too close to this parked vehicle. I had to intervene. Then sharp right. Okay, steer away. Then sharp right. Okay, steer away. She 
She is focusing on the instructions given by the satnav and hits a corner of the pavement. Not good at all for my alloy or tyre. Luckily, there wasn't too much damage caused. Oh, then a shot right off. Oh, no. Sorry? Oh, they said then shot right. Yards, sharp right. Mezzled man, I can see this title coming. <laughs> sharp right. Mezzled. Cross the roundabout, first exit. As we approach this roundabout, it is safe to go, but Jamila hesitates. She also forgets to signal left on approach. At this roundabout, she shows good lane discipline by keeping to the left. She selects second gear too late and stays in first until after exiting the roundabout. Only select first gear when you're about to stop. She selects first gear when there was no need, and this slows us down. Second exit, then take the second left. By her reaction, I thought Jamila was going to be sick. Sick of her own driving. Second exit, then take the second left. Can left. Can left. She gets quite close to this parked vehicle. Turn left. After selecting second gear for the turn, Jamila keeps the clutch pedal down instead of bringing it up. This is what we call coasting. And because of this, watch how our speed is too fast and Jamila has less control when turning. And if you could park up anywhere safe on the left, please. When parking up, she stops in a good position without touching the curb. Thank you. And move off when you're ready, please. Before moving off, Jamila carries out good observations oh. and notes pedestrians. But she forgets to release the handbrake. After 200 yards, turn right. Again, I think she's focusing on the satnav and begins drifting to the left and is about to hit the pavement. I had to ask her to steer away. Away from the curb. Turn right. Go right on the roundabout. Third exit. This roundabout she does really well. She moves over to the left at the correct time and carries out good observations before doing so. The speed limit on this carriageway is 50 miles per hour and Jamila builds up speed quite well and does reach 50. 
But judging from her reaction, I don't think she's used to driving this fast. She should have slowed down sooner as we approached the roundabout. We're supposed to be taking the third exit, which is straight ahead at this roundabout. So Jamila should select the middle lane as the left lane is marked for turning left. She selects the left lane. Now from this position, it's okay to take any one of the first two exits, as they are both left turns, and going the wrong way wouldn't be marked as a fault. But she decides to take the third exit from this position. Third exit. I asked Jamila how she thought the test was going so far, and this is what she said. How do you think it's going? It's going all right. My foot's shaking though. <laughs> it's good, okay. <laughs> Cross the roundabout. No, I'm shaking. Maybe it's because I'm on camera. Exit. I don't know. <laughs> Everything's so fast, you know. We've got to see how this fuck can rock. <laughs> Otherwise, we can be nervous. Third exit. Oh. And if you could just park up on the left, please. Now, I'm going to ask her to do the reverse parallel parking maneuver. Thank you. And if you could carry out the reverse parallel parking manoeuvre using that card in front. So I'll pull up next to it, then park behind, fairly close to the kerb. You can leave about one car length from the back of that car in the front of our car, yeah? Yeah, that's fine. Start whenever you're ready. So you've had to breathe, you know? Don't worry, take your time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've got ultimate seasons on, okay? She starts off with good all-round observations and continues to do them throughout the manoeuvre, especially checking out of the back window and the blind spots. You, oh, you did yeah, lift everything in it. Yeah. Come on, come on. She does dry steer, which means steering whilst the car is not moving. This wouldn't necessarily always be marked as a fault, but is something I don't recommend. I'm just going to move the mirror down a little bit so I yeah, can that's see. Am I small or is it just this mirror? Maybe I'm just small. <laughs> okay. She finishes up in a good position close to the curb. Overall, she did this maneuver really well. I think 
this should be warm, God. <laughs> Do I stop or do you tell me to stop? You stop whenever you think you've Okay, that's cool. Um. Okay. Thank you. Move off whenever you're ready, please. Cool. And at these traffic lights, turn right, please. We're supposed to be turning right at these lights, but she doesn't switch lanes in time, so does the correct and safest thing, which is to go the wrong way. Oh, gosh. Let me stay here. Do you know your instructions yet? Can I follow them? I mean, do I have to follow them? Or like, say if I'm in this position, can I just... It's a test, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I would love to help here, yeah. yeah. It's a but, test, isn't it? Yeah. So you just turn it off. When moving off here, it's important to check both side mirrors to look out for cyclists. Jamila doesn't check. Now we're coming up towards the end of the test and we're going to finish up with another three serious driving faults, which could have easily been avoided. And if you could take this first turning on the right. When turning right, she stops well to wait for the oncoming vehicles, but then decides to go before this black car. She should have waited. The road that we are turning into isn't clear, as this white vehicle is still turning. It's not too drastic, but the driver in the black car did have to slow down because of us. And at this roundabout, turn right, second exit. At all of the previous roundabouts, Jamila has looked to the right before entering, but this time she doesn't look at all. As you can see, I was a bit surprised by this fault. At this roundabout turn left, first exit. This roundabout she approaches in third gear, and when she notices this, Jamila selects first gear instead of second. This slows us down and causes the vehicle behind to brake. At this roundabout, we are going straight ahead. She selects the correct lane and shows really good lane discipline after entering the roundabout by keeping to the left. Now I'm going to ask the show me question. And if you can show me how to wash the front windscreen please. Jamila starts to look for the wiper controls and again gets quite close to the pavement. Something she definitely needs to work on. And she never figured out how to wash the front screen. Oh. Now we're going to end the test here. Let's get Jamila's thoughts on her driving. Okay, and if you could switch off the engine, we're gonna end the test here now. Oh. Yes, yeah, so that's the end of the test. How do you think you did? Um, so I think I've, I failed, didn't it? Um, yeah, yeah, I failed. Any idea what? I failed on one of the roundabouts, one of the roundabouts, I think speed, and also hitting the curb right at the start. Yeah, so that roundabout that you're on about, you approached really fast, the speed limit was 50, you were even going over that, yeah, which, it was only a couple of miles an hour, 
Yeah, yeah, and um, you should have started slowing down a lot sooner, mm -hmm. and then you would just speed up to there. And we were supposed to take the third exit, which you mm -hmm. did in the end, but that that lane was marked for left. Yeah, it and was then, that one. So it? you should have done what you did at, at the lights. Remember when at the lights when I asked you to turn right, but you should continued straight on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what you should have done. So what you did at the lights was good. When you you were asking me out, oh, do I have to follow your instructions? Yeah. Oh, preferably yes. Yeah, but if you're in the wrong lane, go the wrong way. Mm -hmm. Okay, but you didn't do that that roundabout. Okay, yeah, that, yeah. okay, and at w one of the other roundabouts towards the end, you didn't even. It was a mini roundabout. You didn't even look to the right. Yeah. 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 Okay, you were looking to the left, but a lot of people do that. At the mini roundabouts, they get confused. It doesn't matter how big or small the roundabout is. Before you enter, always look to the right. So before I enter, look to the right. Before I exit, look to the left. Yeah, of the exiting. Okay. Uh, you got. You want to check your mirrors to exit the late, uh, roundabout. Yeah. yeah. But before you enter. Obviously, traffic on the right has priority, yeah? Yeah. Okay, at the big round, but you were checking. Okay, but yeah. that small one, you didn't. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, the, one of the main things you need to work on is your clearance when passing park vehicles. And like, you know, when you hit the curb as well. So yeah. sometimes you're getting really close to the curb. You're driving about that far away from it. Mm -hmm. Even at the end, when I asked you to um, show me how to wash the windscreen, the show me question, yeah? Yeah. You were... Uh, like looking for the lever or whatever and then you're about there's a guy standing there as well you got very close to the curb okay okay, okay. just be be very, be careful of that yeah mm -hmm. okay with the park cars that that one time i had to grab yeah. the scene remember mm -hmm. yeah and trying to start, I yeah try and avoid rushing into situations it's like your foot's on the gas just rushing into it yeah yeah just see any hazard hold back a bit just ease off the gas not even like braking just ease off the gas mm -hmm. yeah and a lot of people do this you know with the park cars or that they, they don't think the park cars as a big risk Please. yeah but yeah always think about the space and if like you said it as well less space less speed yeah but you're not doing it with the okay. park cars. well you know you're not rushing past them but you're getting too close yeah I think yeah that's the one speed's not too bad when you're when you're in those gaps yeah i think it's that uh, you know i've never actually um done as many mini uh, i've done mini roundabouts but i think do you know the multi-lane ones yeah the roundabouts yeah i've never actually come across that i think only when there's like a few but not many with that many so signs. you know what you need to do in your lessons now yeah one mm -hmm. was following the sat nav you did find that a little bit um a, a bit of a distraction it is a big yeah. distraction yeah and you said you've only done that the once so on your lessons that Ask your instructor, look, I want to follow the sat nav, I want to do big multi-lane roundabouts. Yeah. Yeah. And the other thing is your just your clearance from the the park vehicle. How's my speed? In because general, your build-up of speed is good. You know, at no point are you too slow. You may be a bit too quick, like say so you rush into situations a bit. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So, um, is there any particular reason for that? Why you always... With the... I've never driven a 50 in a 50 thingy. Okay. That was my first time driving in them roads. Okay, you seem quite excited when you were like, yeah, or <laughs> Because I thought, you know what, like, if I'm too slow, I'm going to affect the traffic behind, do you know what I mean? But I think well, that, it's the that's, approaching part. Yeah, that's a good point. You don't want to be too slow. Only if it's safe, though. Assess if it's, assess if it's safe. It was mm -hmm. safe to build up your speed, which you did. But then when there's a roundabout or hazard coming up, slow down. Yeah. You don't have to be doing 50, like, a couple of car lengths before the roundabout. You got there and you're like, oh, damn. Second, yeah, you, yeah, slow. Slow and down no nice gonna, and No one's going to really... No, because they know you're slowing down there's a roundabout coming up so you're slowing down mm -hmm. if it's clear and there's nothing in your way then yeah okay. keep ready but if there's anything if, when you're approaching a roundabout as soon as you notice the signs for the roundabout you're at 50 miles an hour you should have started braking and wait before yeah wait and before anticipate yeah. what's ahead it's like what's you got there too quickly you made it 10 yeah. times harder for yourself i remember there was a time where i was like okay i don't know what to do now. <laughs> i just seen 50 50 40, i thought no nah, this i'm thinking this is here and i thought no nah, you know what like hopefully i don't stall on these one of these dual <laughs> carriage you know what i mean but it was my first time driving these roads but i guess you know yeah. practice makes perfect you know yeah I mean? but that was the whole point of this mock test yeah and towards the end now you made um a, a few serious faults which I wasn't really expecting. You know, like we talked about one of the observations at the mini roundabout. Then, you know, when we were turning right, yeah, I should turn right. This was soon after, you know, at the lights when instead of turning right, you just went straight ahead. That wasn't a fault. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. okay. The, and, the one yeah, yeah. Then I said, I said turn right. Yeah. Yeah. And you were waiting. Your position was good. Mm -hmm. There was a car that was turning into the road. Yeah. You yeah. waited for that, but after that, there was a black car coming towards you. Yeah. And you decided to go, and you shouldn't have really gone. That black car had to brake for us. Really? Yeah. Because there was a car that went, the yeah. white car that went. Like yeah, that. white car went there, and there was a black car coming. Did you notice the black car? I didn't even notice it. <laughs> okay, there. I just there. saw the white one. I thought, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. So that, and then, in the end, so 
a couple of times you did get face gear too soon. And that's what caused uh, it? Uh, not a problem. Okay, because it didn't really um, hold the pinion behind and it wasn't that like drastic that anybody had to break. Apart from that one occasion towards the end where there was a roundabout and you didn't get your gear, on, you, you were in third gear on approach. Yeah. And then as soon as you entered the roundabout, a silver car was very close behind us. You've entered the roundabout, fine. But well, not fine, you were in third gear, yeah. yeah. But instead of getting second, you got, got first. first yeah. And that's like sharp braking and the yeah. car behind us had to brake. Yeah. So on that occasion, it was so marked as a serious fault. Yeah. Your manoeuvre was really good. Thanks. Yeah, it was really good. Your observations are good, your judgment and the distance that you did in uh, was good. You know when you're doing, doing the manoeuvre on a hill, yeah? So we wanted to go back here. Yeah? Mm. And if you're not uphill, as soon as you release a handbrake, the car's going to roll back. So you can keep the clutch down, let the car roll back. You still get your gear though. Okay, yeah? just okay. Yeah, you can rather keep, than pressing brake. Yeah, you don't have to bring that clutch up because the car's going to roll back anyway. anyway yeah. yeah, so you can use the brake. Okay, so keep the clutch down. Okay. Okay, so um, thank you very much for coming down to the, no, do the mock right. test. Any questions? Um, no, I don't think there is any questions. And guys, remember, don't forget to check out her page. Um, like I said, the link will be in the description below. Yeah, and uh, hope you, hopefully you guys found that video useful. Like always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.